Hello internet, my name is Zemos HD. Um so Kevin Kevin Logan just commented on the death of Kobe Bryant. Um was it positive? No, not really. Um let's let's go ahead and watch the footage and I will play it in its entirety, although sped up. Hello there everyone. Um I just wanted to make a, a quick mention of a, a vaguely sports related type thing. Um but stay with me, okay, because it's it's relevant to the stuff I you know I've talked about in the past. Um so, uh, Kobe Bryant, the former um, shooting guard for the uh, Los Angeles Lakers, and of course Team USA, um, uh, died at the age of 41 in a helicopter crash over the last uh, day or so. And um, you're going to hear a lot in the upcoming days, uh, very effusive praise for Mr. Bryant, I like Mr. Bryant, um, because, I mean, undoubtedly he was one of the greatest basketball players ever. But one thing I want you to note during all of this is the fact that Kobe Bryant was a rapist, okay? Um, he... Uh, took guilt for the incident in question, although sort of uh, refused to accept that it was right. So he's sort of an unrepentant rapist, which, you know, makes it even worse. Um, and I just want everyone to think, when you hear all these people praising him to the hills about what a great guy he was and all the rest of it, that he was a rapist. And people don't seem to really care too much about that. And how that plays into the argument we hear online from arseholes about um, how rape culture totally doesn't exist, even though we've got this guy who's a rapist who's being praised to the hilt everywhere. Pretty fucked up stuff. But I just want people to uh, bear that in mind, uh, you know, if if you follow this story at all, what is. Anyway, so uh, my condolences go out to the um, pilot of the helicopter and to any of the other passengers who might have been on, on board who uh, weren't rapists. But um, as for Kobe Bryant himself, no. My condolences don't go out to him. They just don't. So maybe a bad person, maybe. But that's the way it is. Anyways, uh, by all means, leave your hate comments below to any of the Kobe stands out there. Uh, please tell me about who he was the greatest player ever. Which, by the way, he was undoubtedly a very good player. Not the point, is it? Not the point of this video. But please, by all means, do that. Uh, and I'll probably delete those messages, because fuck it, why not? Anyways, uh, thank you all for listening and watching. Pip pip. Kevin, um, people already knew he was a rapist. I, I, I don't know if he knew that, but people get over that kind of stuff really quickly, unfortunately. And yes, I do acknowledge that we live in a sort of rape culture, with Kobe Bryant being a perfect example of a rapist who, you know, still gets praise. But there's something important to remember here. History is full of people that we praise who are actually quite terrible. Um, a few examples off the top of my head are people like um, MLK, who was, um, you know, a cheater. Um, how about George Washington, who had slaves? Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin, who dated a 14-year-old girl. Um, Lyndon B. Johnson, who was a massive racist. Chris Brown, R. Kelly, the list goes on. But the important thing here is the sensitivity of a person who just died. Look, I'm all for calling out people for doing bad stuff. But it looks really bad when you do it right after they die in a plane crash. That's all I'm saying. Maybe don't do stuff like this, Kevin. Maybe just don't do it. I mean, I get it. You're really principled and all, but it looks really cheap and petty when you do this right after someone dies. It would have been like if um, Bill Cosby died and you'd been like, Hey, remember, he raped all those women? Like, yeah, but he just died. Like, chill. People like this guy. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. Um, keep up the good work, Kevin. I actually like all your stuff. All right. <laughs> this is terrible.